today we have uh, the joy of dedicating uh, the son of our dear brother Danny and his wife Anu. Uh, God has blessed them with a third son and uh, I request Danny and Anu to bring up their little baby Jeremiah before the church. It's a great joy to dedicate Jeremiah Danny Simon, son of Danny Simon and Anu Danny. As many of us know, this is indeed a miracle baby. While he was in the womb, the prognosis given by the doctors was not very good. The very fact that we are dedicating this child is the proof of a God who answers prayers and does miracles. You know, when parents bring their baby to be dedicated in the presence of God, they are acknowledging that this baby is a gift from God. And in these joyful moments, the parents along with the church are expressing their gratitude to God through the baby's dedication. There are no rituals or anything else we can do for another person to ensure their eternal destiny. There are, however, many things we can do as parents to teach our children about the Lord and to instruct them in His ways in the hope that they will someday choose to follow Him and accept Jesus as their personal Savior. We do not perform baptism on infants or very young children. We simply bring them and their parents before God and His people for prayer and to make a vow to raise them according to his will. You as the parents God has given this child to are making a vow to commit your child to the Lord, to instruct him in his word, to nurture and discipline him according to scripture and to be a godly example for them to follow. If you yourself are not a born again Christian and not yet made a commitment to the Lord in your own life, then you will not be able to keep this vow. There are many examples in the Bible of people who made vows to God and then did not keep them. They were dealt with very severely. We do not want to encourage you to take part in an empty ritual. The dedication of your family to God is something far too serious to be entered into lightly. My prayer is that this will help you to recognize the extent of the commitment you will be making. When you make a vow to raise your child for the Lord to dedicate him to him, he will give you wisdom and strength to do so. There are a few things you should however do as part of keeping this promise. A parent's responsibility to pray does not end at his child's dedication, but continues until the day he commits his own life to the Lord. We have an example of this in Job chapter 1 verse 5. In regards to his children, it says, Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did continually. Instruct your child in the way of the Lord. We are taught in the book of Ephesians 6, 4 to bring your children up in the training and instruction of the Lord. And Proverbs 22, 6 adds, train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Be a living example of Christ to your children. It does not do any good to instruct your child in the ways of the Lord. If you do not walk what you talk, Proverbs 27 says, The righteous man leads a blameless life. Happy are his children after him. The reason for the blessed state of this man's children is 
that they have someone to look up to as an example for their own behavior. We must strive to our children even as Christ is our example. Discipline your children as the Lord would have you do. The book of Proverbs gives us many practical teachings concerning the children we are to provide, concerning the discipline we are to provide for our children. God's word says by disciplining our children, we are showing our love for them. God never strikes at his children in anger, but rather chastens us in love. Colossians 3.21 says, Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. We are not to break the spirit, but instead to encourage spiritual growth. Children are a gift from God. Psalms 127 verse 3 proclaims that sons are a heritage from the Lord. Children a reward from Him. As believers, we are called to recognize that children belong first and foremost to God. God in His goodness gives children as gifts to parents. They not only have the awesome responsibility of caring for this gift, but also the wonderful privilege of enjoying the gift. Because children belong to God and are given by grace as gifts to parents, it is only proper and appropriate that children be dedicated back to God. We are told in 1 Samuel 1 that Hannah presented her son Samuel to the Lord. In Luke chapter 2 verse 22 we read that Mary and Joseph brought their baby Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem in order to present him before the Lord. In the same way, Danny and Anu today bring their son Jeremiah, presenting first themselves and then their son before the Lord our God. Danny and Anu, I call your attention to the commands of God recorded in the Holy Scriptures. Deuteronomy 6 verses 4 to 7 tells us, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on their children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Ephesians 6, 4 says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath instead Bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. God's instructions are plain. Danny and Anu, love God with every ounce and fiber of your energy and teach Jeremiah to do the same. As you love God and one another, you will model before Jeremiah a wonderful love for God that he will want for himself. Danny and Anu, by coming forward before God and his people, do you hereby declare your desire to dedicate yourselves and your son Jeremiah to the Lord? If so, please respond by saying, we do. Having come freely, I ask now that you enter into the following commitment in the presence of God and His people. So that Jeremiah may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers. Do you, Danny and Anu, vow by God's help and in partnership with the church to provide Jeremiah a Christian home of love and peace and to raise him in the truth of our Lord's instruction and discipline and to encourage him to one day trust Jesus Christ as his Savior and Lord remain standing as we let's all stand up in the presence of God as we move into the time of dedication I'm going to pray a word of prayer thank you Jesus amen hallelujah I just want you all to stretch forth your hand I want you to whisper a word of prayer, a word of blessing. And that the Lord has brought this little baby a long, long way. Medical science 
was telling us to abort the baby they took a step of faith danny and anu took a step of faith they trusted the lord and they had many challenges the very moment the baby was born the baby had to be taken in for a major surgery <coughs> god has brought them through and there are many challenges ahead but god is faithful the lord who has led them thus far the god who has been their ebenezer the god who is their emmanuel the god who is el shaddai the almighty god the god who is jehovah rafa the healer is with them goes before them you know let's whisper a word of prayer let's whisper a word of blessing let's whisper let's speak a word and say lord let your presence go before this family let your presence go before this little baby you know he is called he is destined for greater things the enemy wanted to take him away but god god has protected him thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah oh shkarabor hallelujah thank you thank you jesus thank you father we thank you jesus oh shkarabor ndarabara bikarabor sandarabela roka baroko father we want to thank you today as your church we stand here with hearts of gratitude thankfulness to thank you for this precious baby this miracle baby that you have blessed Danny and Anu with lord thank you lord your hand of protection has been upon him as your word says your ways are much higher than our ways lord your thoughts are much higher than our thoughts lord lord many times what the world says what medical science says is not possible lord you are a god who can override every one of those things because you are a god of miracles lord lord the bible is full of miracles you have not stopped lord doing miracles even today lord you do miracles in our life oh lord and we thank you for this lord miracle baby that lord we are here to witness and to know that we believe in a god who's a living god a god who still moves father thank you father we dedicate this child lord we dedicate jeremiah for your glory sake oh lord thank you for blessing daniel and oh lord you're going to give them the grace and the strength that they need to raise him up lord in the fear of god and lord that he will stand up one day and testify lord for your goodness and your faithfulness lord lord you will use him to be an instrument for your glory lord Thank you Lord cover him under your precious blood Lord and we are going to see Lord miracles after miracles in his life Lord Father the God who has led them thus far Lord the Lord who started the good work you will complete it because you are the alpha and you are the omega you are the finisher of what you started Lord you never leave things half way through Lord and thank you Lord you will give both of them the strength and the grace they need lord the wisdom they need father thank you that they trusted in you lord they were willing to take that step of faith lord and god you will honor that step of faith lord oh just as oh hallelujah oh shukara oh hallelujah oh sanda rebela roko dani i know this is what the lord wants to tell you wow this is powerful Moses parents did not fear pharaoh they hid moses they did not throw moses to the they did not throw moses to the river nile they were willing to risk their life for moses that's why god raised him up 
to be a mighty man. Amen. And just as you were willing not to go by what the medical science said, you're willing to take that step of faith. God is going to raise him up. God is going to raise him up. God is going to raise him up. To walk as a mighty man of God. Because you all were willing to trust in God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the word, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, shikarabo. Yes, Father. I pray, Lord, cover him under your precious blood. Moses never forgot who he was even while he was in Pharaoh's palace. Jeremiah will always remember that he was called by God and there is a destiny on his life. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, thank you for speaking to us, Lord. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.